Hi, it's me again with for real draw tips and tricks. If somebody's having problems with the contour, they've evidently, I don't know for sure, but they've got their fill set on yellow. So when they click this and they contour point one to the outside, it's going to contour as a fill in yellow. So the way around that is take your text and left click, right click, and then go to contour. And it's just going to contour the lines and not the fill. There's really no way to set this for no fill that I know of. But, so if you've got that and you want the contour, you know, then you can take this. Well, first of all, I would always uh, take it and break the contour apart so you can move that contour out of the way. And then just depending on what they want to do, you could take the contour tool and have it set on black and fill your letters back in. Or you could, because it's a text type letters, let's set our nudge factor on something. Let's see how big this thing is. It's a little bitty, so like two inches, three inches. And let's take our red line and move it. I don't have my number lock on. Three inches. And then move this down three inches. And if we grab all this and go to the fill and uh, left click fill, it'll fill it in. And then you could put your contour back. And just depending on what they want to do, if you just want a contour line to cut, you're ready to go. You know, make sure that's a red hairline to cut it. If you want to put a different color in there, you just take the Smart Fill tool. And because it's all um, around the black, it'll do that right there. Of course, you always have to fill in those empty spots where the contour can't get into. So when I contour something, I just contour it as a outline. So I take away the fill. Add an out outline's already there. Contour, so then it won't fill because it doesn't have anything to do. And you're ready to go if, they, if you want to cut that out. Anyway, I hope that answered her question. Thank you for watching.